G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. In this episode today, guys, just going to be a bit of like uh, like a catch up. When I realized when I was on this, on this like break, I couldn't, it was hard. I couldn't take myself away from the Steelers. I am that invested, that much of a fan, that I simply could not even look away from the small stories that might have been Peterson being ranked like 31st in the league at cornerback, stuff like that. Uh, the Troy interview, all those kind of things around the league. I was like, I know it's the off season, but I couldn't break myself away from that. Now, I did have a good time. I had a good refresher. I feel like amped up, ready to go. Uh, I'm keen for the season. I'm keen for this weekend being USL football, uh, Pittsburgh Moles versus the Stallions. I'll be doing a live stream on the weekend. Have some sherbets. Going to be a good time. So if you guys like, like that, uh, you like that. Uh, that's from, from Kirk. Uh, if you like that, come check it out. It's going to be fun. But I thought today we'd just do a bit of a, a bit of a recap. And it, honestly, it's more just to get my head, my head clear and what has been happening in the last, you know, two weeks or about 10 days or whatnot, right? And I want to start firstly with, uh, I think it was Peterson. Peterson, uh, Patrick Peterson went on his podcast with BMAC the other day and they started talking about, you know, PFF and how he he's been ranked 31st in the league and stuff like that. That only adds fuel to the fire, right? Only adds fuel to the fire, which is they should really stop giving it, stop giving fuel to the fire to the Steelers because Kittle's doing it with TJ, uh, PFF's doing it with Peterson, pissing them off. And we're going to come out swinging, I'll tell you that. When we verse the 49ers, Brock Purdy, Yes, he had a good season last year. I don't think he lost the game. But he's still a seventh rounder. And can he back that up, right? I find this team is getting is getting back to order, right? So Peterson's angry. He's fired up. He's ready to go. Now, there was some other news too that I missed that went right over my head. Um, the idea about trading away uh, Levi Wallace, I don't understand. I do not understand that. This secondary is looking nice, like really nice right now. Why would you trade away Wallace? You have Peterson, Wallace. You can work in JPJ, right? Corey Trice is, is, is apparently trying to make the team and he looks like he's going to make the team. That's four. Why would you trade away your second corner uh, in that aspect? So I'm not even going to really like, you know, talk about that or expand on that. It's not going to happen. The Steelers aren't going to trade away Wallace when they have... The roster being Peterson, Wallace next, JPJ, and then the secondary, you know, balloons out from there, Kazi at the back and Neil and stuff like that. It's not, to me, it's not going to happen. I don't know what you guys think. I saw that, uh, that was the, was it the theme about three or four or five days ago was trade Wallace and get back a second round pick. And I was like, why would you trade Wallace? What, what, what would be the, the, the advantage of that? He's, he's the guy that had, I think about three or four picks last year. It's not going to happen. I think he stays with the team. Now, another thing I want to bring up, right, just quickly. Uh, I did see this picture. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I saw this picture. Look, look, look. I, I'm just going to just comment quickly. Um, it's not something I would wear, to be very honest. I don't. I wear jumpers. Uh, what, you guys call them, what do you guys call them over there? Jackets or whatever, sloppy joes. I don't know what you guys call them. Hoodies. I wear hoodies, T-shirts, shorts, man. That's it. I wear Steelers gear. I'm a pretty average bloke in that sense. Uh, Claypool was over there in Paris doing his thing. He had a caption saying, always working, and he's maybe aspiring to be a model. I don't know, but you wouldn't catch me dead. You wouldn't catch me dead wearing a little thing around my head or uh, holding a handbag while wearing a tablecloth as a shirt. I don't know. To me, he just looks like he's going on a Sunday drive. Now, I did, I did, I did see something too, right? Where are the days of gone that Jack Lambert is like this? <laughs> you know what I mean? Look at the difference. One side, you have a, a future model in the making. And Claypool, chase your dreams, mate. Always, anyone out there, chase your dreams, follow your passion, because good things can happen. So if you want to be a model, you go be a model. But on the other side is Jack Lambert, missing teeth. Looks like he's ready to headhunt someone and smash someone into the ground. Football has changed a little bit over the years from Jack Lambert to like uh, Chase Claypool, right? Anyways, that's just a bit of the catch up on the news. There isn't really too much going on. 
for the next few weeks, we have about three or four, I think three weeks to go. Uh, I think from Monday, I might try and dive into some 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 Steeler related uh, topics. I know out there that Colin Cowherd has is, is been backing now Kenny Pickett. Um, Herm Edwards thinks the Steelers will be a playoff team. I saw things like that. So there are still, there are bits of media saying the Steelers are, are going to have a chance for the playoffs. And then there's the other side of the media that, that don't, don't believe at all. So they're kind of like, they're kind of on the fence. The Pittsburgh Steelers media is on the fence. I Oh, sorry. The, the, the NFL media is on the fence with the Steelers right now. Are they going to be a good team? Are they going to be great? What's going to happen, right? But I think as Steelers fans, we kind of see what's been happening with all the additions from the draft, um, Coach Tomlin leading him, Omar Khan. There's still maybe a question around Matt Canada. I'm giving him a fresh shot. I tell you that. One fresh shot, dead set. He, I, I think it's going to be fine. You run the ball, you run the rock, you improve the offensive line, and you make moves and plays with Kenny Pickett to Pickens to DJ to – oh, that's right. Kenny Pickett and Allen Robertson, they've also been working out too, throwing the football here and there. So there's a lot of few like mini stories happening, but it is right now the offseason. Players are going away um, on their holidays and they're going to come back in three weeks. But guys, I am officially back. I can't wait to, to keep making content, talking this team, expand the brand, grow the community, and also love our team, man. This is the year. This is the year out of all the years to be the most hype why not this year? Why not us? Why can't the Steelers go into week one and take care of Brock Purdy? Who really is Brock Purdy when you think about it? Brock Purdy is a bloke that's in a really good team. Uh, that is the 49ers. Good, great offense. A fantastic offense with Debo Samuel and all those dudes. Kittle, right? He's saying that, they, that TJ won't be able to block him. So in saying that, 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 that means that Kittle won't be running routes. He won't be He's going to use for more pass protection in that sense. Is he, is he giving away something? Is Kittle not going to be used as a threat down the field? Great. That's good. If you're not going down the field and you're going to block TJ with, with help next to you, that's great because then it's going to free someone else up to make plays, right? Brock Purdy to me is just a bloke that's a seven-rounder. And if he starts or if it's Sam Darnold, if he's seeing goes whoever, I don't think it matters. I really don't think it matters. I think the Steelers are going to be that hyped. They have that much time to prepare for this game. They have home field advantage, and I think this team can win this game. I don't, I don't care if it's 23-20 or if it's if it's 13-10, if it's 49-0. I don't care, but I think the Steelers can win this game. Anyways, guys, we have about three or four weeks to go. So, yes, I'm officially back. I'm refreshed. I feel good. I did miss it. I like this process that I wake up in the morning. I do a video. I then go and finish my day, and there's a lot of things coming too. I've got a few guys lined up. Um, coming on for for um, special guests in the future. Um, I won't tell you who, but there's some content creators out there that are coming on. So you'll see those podcasts. I'm going to go try and go th live three times a week, all that kind of stuff, man. I'm hyped up. I just want to get around this team and present the information as best I can, but also give you my take on the information as best I can. That's it. That's it. And there's and, and there's that. There's Claypool and there's... there's uh, who would you choose? Let me know in the comments below who would you choose. <laughs> who would you choose? Who would you pick right now to be, if you want on your team, you're playing, you're playing seven on seven at the park and there's two people left. There's Claypool and there's Lambert. Who would you choose to be on your team? I know who I'm choosing. It's the guy on the right. I'll see you guys later.